G'day folks, today I am in the middle of Australia. Beautiful red sand everywhere around. And today I'm looking at one of Australia's biggest spiders and it's the golden orb weaver. It's called the golden orb weaver because sometimes in the sunlight its web looks beautiful like spun gold. And these guys can get really big. So big, in fact, small birds can often get caught in their web and end up as a meal. So they are among some of the largest spiders in Australia. But it's not the spider that I'm worried about. What bothers me are these little flies. They are brutal. They are relentless and brutal. They're climbing up my nose, in my eyes, everywhere. So I'm going to wear this fly net just so I can draw, because I can't draw with these flies in my eyes. Okay, I'm going to draw this spider here. And this is how I do it. I'm going to start off with the body shape here, which is basically a head and a long abdomen. So I cover the legs up like this, little ones out like that, and the two front ones like this. So I'm just doing it really rough, and then I just refine. I wish some of these flies would get caught in that web. So now looking where the light source is coming from, it's coming from this way. So I'm shade that bit a bit. Like that, that's a little bit pointier there. And that's how you start giving it a bit of a 3D look. So it sort of goes in and out like that do directional lines that way to help it a bit. It's got its palps there. These two legs, they almost look like they're joined there because the light's coming through them. You can see their joint there. Long bit there, another joint. Looks so cool. That. The sun's coming out a bit. There's a cute little leg there. So you see I'm not even doing where I did it. I, I'm sort of correcting as I go. It's good to have something down. If you get something down, then you can just make little corrections. It's going out like that. Got funny joints. She's a pretty girl. Now yeah, she's got some pattern on her too, so gently shading it a bit there, a little bit of pattern there. Darken a bit in here, shadow coming off those legs there. Now one of the ways, this is a little trick you can do, even though the light's coming that way, can leave a little bit of light there. So we have here, dark bit there, that's what you call the terminator zone. Then you've got a highlight here, so I'm going to shade in around there, leave a little highlight. Have the terminator zone, then just have a little bit of reflected light there. Even though there's not reflected light there, I'm cheating and putting it there anyway to make it look a little bit more 3D. That's a little art hack for you. So just to finish off, we're just putting in this other leg here, nice and rough. And there is our sketch, we might just chuck a bit of web, going in a few different directions. Just above her there, I think it's a boyfriend, or another little spider. Done.